Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. In this video I will show you how you can play PSX or Sony PlayStation 1 games on your deck station. PSX or PS1 games on deck station you can play using emulators and one of the best emulators is called EPSXE. So if you go to Google Play Store on your deck station and you search for EPSXE. And that's the app I'll use to play PS1 games on my deck station. This app is not free. I believe I paid three or four British pounds for this app. And well, it's four quid. It's four pounds, so just buy it. It's, it's nothing and you download it and install. So what I'll do is I already bought it. So that's why it's showing install instead of buy. So let's um, install it. Before this video, I deleted everything. So I would like to show you from scratch how you need to set this up. So it's right now installing this app. Let's give a second or so. While it's actually installing, you need games to play or using this emulator. And I cannot tell you exactly where to go, but let's say if you search for um, PSX ROMs, as you can see, one of the first links in your well google is your friend and one of the you just go and google it something like that and one of the first links will give you idea where you can go and download these games so just just use google i cannot post any links because it's a bit of pirating and stuff but just don't forget google is your friend just send a search do a search on google and you'll find what you're looking for so is that installed? Yes, it is. So I'll close that and icon should appear here. So move icon in the middle of the screen. First of all, let's make sure that my audio goes through a phone. Yes, and audio is not that loud at all. That will do. So let's open the game. Uh, open the Android emulator or PSX emulator. And that's what you will get. And cause I am using two apps and they are Dex Hub and Dex Max. I already done a video about these two apps, so go check the video out. But these two apps allows me to do this. Run some of the Android apps or games in a full screen mode. So let's move this away. So it gives you options. Run game, run BIOS, uh, multiplayer, and etc. Performances. That's where you can change all your awesome settings for this app and make sure that app runs as smooth as possibly can. So straight away... Um, uh, screen rotation is obviously landscape screen ratio. I'll do stretch obviously you can do widescreen or 4x3 4x3 is basically the all square and um, basically Ratio of a screen that used to be back in a good old days and obviously the rest of the settings like you can do a in, uh, Smoother slower as you can see is do you want a Resolution to be increased by 1x 2x or 4x etc so these settings are you just you can mess about if you want i'll post my own settings in the description below you can follow them you can tweak them if you found something that's not working but you found something else that will work let me know and i will uh, i will basically edit my description and with uh, this emulator settings to help you all to play the games on your deck station so right now um games so it's scanning and it said basically it's found nothing. It's found not one single game. So okay, let's do skip. And again, when you go and do a scanning, it gives you like a, a folder structure. So what I need to do is I need to go back. Oh, sorry, my mistake. I need to go to file browser. So right now I'm in a file browser and I need to go to as storage. And this is my SD card, not internal on the phone, but a micro SD card, which is 128 gigabytes of storage. I put that SD card in my phone. So I need to go to this. This is my like a unique number for this SD card. Yours probably going to be different, but just look for something similar. I go inside and I have a folder created there, which is called downloads emulators, PSX, and that's a zip files of the games that I would like to play. Obviously, this is my one of my favorite games on PSX, Dino Crisis, and I downloaded a couple of more, just like a Gran Turismo, Resident Evil, the first one to basically test in this app. So um, what I'll do, I'll just click on the first one, and it's asking me to install a plugin, which is automatically will unzip the game for me. 
So I need to just say yes, install that. So it's installing this plugin for this emulator. So let's give a second or so to uh, finish that installing. So it's installed, that's fine. I'll close that and I'll click again on the Dino Crisis. So it says, do you wanna uncompress this in SD card? And I'm gonna say yes. And right now this game is being decompressed inside my phone into internal storage. But I don't really like to basically get all these big files inside my phone. So what I'll do after this finish, uh, I'm gonna use another app, which is called ES File Explorer. You can find this app inside the Google Play Store. So if I go to Play Store and you search for ES File Explorer, ES File Manager. This is a free version but contains ads and a while back I bought it the pro version, which I remember I paid maybe 99, 0, uh, 1, 0 0.99 a pound or something. So I bought it that while back. So I'm still using that was one of the best ones that is available for Android. So Extractions completed, so I'm gonna open ES File Explorer and I'll go to zero. Zero is basically inside the phone storage. And I look for Dino Crisis, that's it. That's the game, Dino Crisis, because it's just exported straight into a root folder. And that's the files that emulator needs to play this game. So I'll go back to uh, well, the start, the root folder. I'll click and hold until I can see a tick and I choose move, move to, back i'll choose the storage and again sd card downloads emulators psx you can keep you can move this file any way you like you can leave it on a phone it's up to you i like to have everything on sd card so i'm gonna put, leave it on sd card i'm gonna say yes please move it there so as you can see right now the file is being moved or all these three files well the folder is being moved to my sd card it's just my preference i don't tend to keep all these emulator files inside the phone because well storage and I just SD card is 128 gigabytes is plenty of room so I'm just moving everything to SD card so let's wait until it's finished that's it it's done it's moved to SD card so I can minimize the ES file explorer and I can go back back in there and I should see Dino Crisis hold on no you need to go back all the way to main menu and now run the game and when you click on these arrows at the top, it says, which folders do you want to scan? Right, SD card is inside the phone, external is outside the phone, which is my ex external SD card. Well, obviously SD card sounds like external memory card, but that's basically it. How the Android tells you that this is inside the phone and external is outside the phone. So click outside the phone. It's scanned and it's found this game that is being extracted and I just moved to SD card. So I have my Xbox One controller. So I just press the button, wait until it connects. Let's double check if it's connected. Here we are, Xbox wireless controller is connected. So I just click Dino Crisis and the game runs. So it's straight, straight away tell, tells me, oh yeah, I detect, detected the Sony PS4 game. No, I don't want a Sony PS4 controller. So go back, yes quit. Go to preferences. At the bottom, you should find, bingo, somewhere two thirds down or one quarter down of the screen, you should see the settings, input preferences. I'll click player one. So now I uh, select gamepad and let's look for Xbox One wireless controller. So it's found my keyboard, my mouse, my MOGA controller and etc. I just click inbox uh, Xbox and it selects the special unique code for this controller. So I'll go back. Obviously, if you go in there, you can map the keys the way you like. So let's say I go back in there. And as you can see, uh, accelerometer and etc. map the buttons, so R1, R1. So you can map them as much as, as much as you like. I left it as a default, so I'll go back. I'm using escape key on the keyboard to go back. So back, 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 and run the game. So yes, I would like to run this game. So right now the on-screen controls disappeared and it tells me in a small bubble that it's detected the Xbox controller. So right now the game is loading. Press start. As you can hear, I hope you can hear, I'm moving around, so new game. Let's, let's do easy. 
So PS1 controller, especially that game when it was launched, it was only be able to play with the D-pad and the four buttons. Also, you can you can change that, and I'll show you how. So just press start. Let's wait, start. Let's wait until the cutscene finishes, and I'll show you. Right. So now the game starts. Obviously, this is like 12, 20 years old, even longer. All the phone, uh, all the phone, all the game. So don't be so picky about the pixels. That's basically the game that used to be, and I'm playing actually on 1080p screen. And basic deck station, which is like nearly freaking ultra HD quality screen. So bear in mind the pixels, but you can change that to look even nicer in the settings, which I will show you in a minute. I'm just gonna get on my Chromebook my settings, the way I I done them before. So okay, I got the settings on the screen. So the game is playing, as you can see. Okay, pixels and stuff, but. It's, it's, play, it's, it's, it's playable, it is playable. So if I click the back button on an Xbox One, I can go to save state, choose the slot to save, the game saved. I go back to load state, load state, straight away, like that. No problems. So let's walk in. Come on, it's still the uh, intro, the cutscenes. Let's Increase the volume just a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's let's save it here. Obviously, you can overwrite the self save file. So that's it. So that's me. So what I have equipment: handgun. I have handgun, shotgun, grenade gun. Okay, what else? Map. That's the map. Where am I now? I'm in the green area, possibly. So let's go. Oh, what's this? Let me guess. This is some of your handiwork, right? Right. What I'll do, I'm gonna save this by here. Save it. That's done. So now, what I'll do, I'm just gonna get to quit, and it tells me, do you wanna quit? Yes, I would like to quit. And this, bye bye. Back to a main menu. Preferences. Right. That's right now a tweaking time to find out how to increase all this to look even more well pleasant to watch so again enable for high resolutions cpu frame skip i don't really use a frame skipping this is a bit of like glitchy i don't know it's, you can choose it whatever you want um show frame rate let's leave it so we're gonna see how much frames per second i get video rendering you can choose hardware or opengl if you click OpenGL plugin and you go to our GPU plugin, click on there, it basically gives you straight away to directory where the file should be. So what you just do, you just click an arrow pointing down, opens the Google Play Store, and this EPS EPSX e OpenGL plugin. I'm saying yes, I would like to install that. So it installs a plugin. First, we install the un un unzipper or decompressor plugin. Now we're installing OpenGL plugin. Plugins are for free. Just the actual emulator will cost you, but plugins are free. So let's wait until this installs. My camera decided to lose focus. Come on. Yes, back, finally. Okay, so we found that we, we downloaded the plugin for OpenGL. We go back and now I can change the settings. So plugin, uh, basically how I want to this plugin to render the game, obviously full resolution. And then what's this plugin texture mode? So which one? So I just leave auto detect. That's fine. And it's right now uh, plugin threading mode two two effects, two most effects, etc. Let's do two threads. Let's see what's going to happen. Is that the same that I've done before? Right, let's, we're gonna find out. And apparently I had the internal resolution. Oh, that's in the right, right side, right, right, right. Let's leave it as a plugin. So sound latency low, and I like to have full sound effects. So everything, the ocean noise, the wind, the trees, the birds, everything will be in. So back, run the game. Yes, Dino Crisis. So six different per second. I'll click back. I go to load the state and load this one. 
As you can see right now, the characters is a bit more better quality, if I can say that. So just leave it as it is. I'm running at 60 frames, 54, 66 frames per second. So about between 55 and 66, 65 frames per second you will get. But don't, come on, this is like a 20 years old game. So don't expect super HD quality like Doom 3 or The Witcher or, uh, I don't know, Xbox X or Xbox S games and etc. So right now, again, another thing is this one don't want to work. So go back. More options, input settings, and I choose digital. Player one mode digital. Go back using B key. Now I can use a, the left thumb to actually control it. I think this one is run. So let's go. Okay, nothing here to pick it up. Turn around. Can I move this box? Okay, can I actually move this box? Okay. Yes. Yes, I found something. Will you take this? Yes. I got some medic, med. So that's it. As you can see, games works brilliantly. I, I, I just noticed one thing. Uh, as you can see, the actual AMO is there, as you can see right now, when I move the mouse, the game thinks that there's something crashed, so the character just walks randomly. But anyway, as you can see, I'm doing nothing. And this aim or um, ammo or whatever, the bullets, is behind the fence, but when you walk closer, it's actually inside the cage, so it's a bit of these things you need to keep in mind. So let's walk inside here, let's check what's inside there. Material storage. So that's, that's, that is Dino Christ. Uh, Dino Christ game. So let's save the state. Uh, there, let's save it here. Over right, there is a forklift. Okay, there is a key. Bingo. Let's grab a key. Yes. And I think I saw something is there. They're gonna push the shelf. Come on, gra grab the aim. Yes, med kit. Yes, don't don't use it. Right, save it. Save the state. Save it. That's it. So that is Dino Christ game. Let's go and sort the other game. So yes, I would like to quit. Let's say you want to add another game. So run the game. Click on the top at the three dots. Browse the file. And again, navigate where you keep the actual zip file. So go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back to a beginning. SD card. No, no, sorry, not SD card. Storage. So where is storage? SD card or whatever you downloaded the zip file on on your phone. I go to downloads, emulators, PSX. Let's try Gran Turismo. Do you want to export this SD card? Yes, I would like. And right now, leave it running. Um, the exporting or how long will take to export the file is depends on the actual game size. So PS PS1 or PSX games, they basically just a couple of hundred megabytes is no big deal. So just leave them, just leave them exporting and don't do anything until it's happening, until it's actually working to do all this file. So as you can see, 38, 39, 40, come on, 44, come on. Um, so another game mode we're gonna try, it's gonna be Resident Evil. As you can see right now, um, while this exporting, Dino Christ is only 240 megabytes. Gran Turismo is 407 megabytes. And Resident Evil, the first one, is 268 megabytes in size and as I mentioned in the beginning of the video if you want to find any games you just use your friend which is Google search for something like PSX ROMs and I'm pretty much sure that actually the links that right now you're seeing on a the screen they will help you to get these games I'm not encouraging you to go and download games illegally it's up to you so you just on your own risk, go and find the, the legal games. So close it, and right now it's 88, 89, and etc. And again, this game will be exported to my phone internal storage. So I'll go back here, and I'm looking for Gran Turismo. So it's not been so refresh, refresh, bingo, that's the game. So it's inside my phone. 
So I'll click and hold until I get the tick. I choose move, move to, storage, SD card, downloads, emulators, and PSX. Yes, that's fine. Move to my SD card. So right now it's moving the file. As you can see, it takes about what, 11, 10 seconds. So let's go, let's go, let's go. So it's right now moving this one. So while it's doing this, let's go back here and choose Resident Evil. Yes, I would like to export Resident Evil into my SD card. And for some reason, it tells me straight away 100%, which is bullshit. It's not supposed to be 100%. I don't know what's happened. Maybe I bolstered up something here. So this is happening. Possibly I done wrong. I had to leave this one copying before extracting another one. That's a tip for you. Don't do two things at the same time on Android device. So right now it tells me it's gonna be a minute or so. So cancel that. And yes, app is crashed. So that's my fault. So what I'll do, I'll move Gran Turismo first. Overwrite everything and move Gran Turismo first and then I'll basically gonna export the Resident Evil. For some reason it tells me it's two minutes. Maybe due to a, oh it's 650 megabytes, that's why. It's a big chunky file. Uh, okay, I'll gonna come back when it's all done. So don't go anywhere. So it's nearly done, it's 10 plus 10 seconds, 9 seconds left, it's nearly copied this Gran Turismo. It took about three and a half minutes, three and a half, four minutes to copy this file of these files for Gran Turismo to be played. So they're in and I think Resident Evil copied as well, but probably with errors. So what I'll do, I'll delete this file, Resident Evil, close it, minimize the Explorer, ES File Explorer, open the emulate again, run the game, go there, browse the files, Go back to my SD card, which is there. So Resident Evil, yes. Do you want to export? Yes, I would like to export. And right now it's exporting Resident Evil game as well. So this one apparently, well, as you can see, it runs faster. Like I said, it probably will be different on your device. It's, it's, or maybe it's the same. Just a tip. Well, don't extract the file when you're copying out the file to SD card on a station so this is uh, I just learned that today so um, let's leave it that's happening and like I said I'll post the settings that I'm using on um, this emulator in a description below you can use them if you found like I said something that don't want to work or you found something better please let me know and I will update it that everyone will be able to enjoy PSX games on the deck station so Resident Evil copied I'll go here, Resident Evil, yes, select that, move, move to SD card, that's straight away selected the SD card, and I say move here, so it's moving the file of SD card, which is going to take less than a minute, hopefully it's going to be, well, quicker, again, three files to move, some games require two files, some games requires more than three files, it's up to you to play. Another thing is when you're trying a PSX emulator, somehow it's dropped increase to three minutes that's fine leave it sometimes when you're playing ps1 games or emulating ps1 games on your device you need the file called bios so if i'll go to my downloads and emulator and psx1 this is the bin file a bios for ps1 it's like a it's like a main file to be used if you want to emulate ps1 games but what this, uh, specifically what this emulator does, it don't require, it don't need these files cause if you go to preferences, as you can see, that's where my file is supposed to be, SD card, E, the, the emulator folder, BIOS and this file, but it'll go to my ES File Explorer, I'll go to this folder, which is, where are you, where are you, where are you? There, BIOS, is nothing here. I don't have that BIOS file copied into this folder. And this emulator is simulates the BIOS enabled. What that means, it's, it's, it's basically, it works without this BIOS file. 
that's that simple thing to say it just works without the bias file so just do enabled and it will detect and it will run the games without this file obviously you can copy it's no harm but um, I tried with the file and without the file to be honest I'm not really notice any difference so uh, it's up to you I obviously don't have the file in here uh, you can go and download it if you want to again Google is your friend just search this file name and you will be able to find it uh, at website where you can download that 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 BIOS file which is again C or it's scph1001.bin you search it if you will find it download it it's up to you you can use it you you don't have to use it with emulator most emulators that I tried requires that file but this emulator for some reason don't really need the file and at all so let's wait until this Resident Evil copies now and I'll come back when it's finished. So nearly uh, finished on Resident Evil to be copied to my SD card. Obviously if your phone is a big storage because my phone is I think it's only 64 gigabyte storage and it's plenty room on the phone it's just I, I this my own preference I don't really like to keep all these things inside of my, in my side of my phone I just leave it to SD card but anyway the files are copied so I have right now I should have free games available for me to play so go back into emulator and I go back to main menu and I do run the game and now what I'll do I'll click these arrows and I say scan external bingo is found all these free games obviously Dino Christ was already playing and right now Gran Turismo and Resident Evil. So Gran Turismo, let's play Gran Turismo. Click on that and it opens up. So right now I'm getting 60, 59 frames per second. Uh, again, graphics are not brilliant and they're not great, but still what you expect is this PS1 game. So let's leave it, let's leave it running. So start, yes. So uh, what I'll do, obviously I don't own the car, if I remember correctly, you need to pass the driving tests and then you can own the car, etc. So I don't have a car, so I'm going to have to do some tests or driving tests. So license area, I need to do license. So what's this? B. Let's start from a B. Again, sometimes you're going to hear the sound glitch. It's, it's all depends. You need to go and tweak them. To be honest, I don't really played the Gran Turismo that much on the simulator so I don't really messed about with the settings so I need to probably tweak once a bit to get them working perfectly so how to change here we are it looks like golf so come on come on oh that's uh, where I need to speed up and then break at certain point to stop in the blue line in the blue gap so 400 i can see what time i'm doing now so i'm gonna hold i'm gonna try to move the move the camera so 27 seconds that's fine two four gold i need to do 38.65 so break somewhere here yes no 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 failed anyway you get an idea so exit this game yes so the next game we're gonna try is Resident Evil so run the game Resident Evil so as you can see it's using uh, some BIOS to emulate this which is fine by me that's what this auto detect does it just goes it detects what kind of BIOS it needs and is does everything for you so new game Resident Evil so choose which one I want to do, do I want to be Jill or do we know do I want to be Chris let's be Chris again don't expect the super quality it's a PS1 game for, come on so 1998 July start to skip that I cannot skip the text let's move the camera away okay so mouse off the screen yet so that's fine I don't know what happened Barry where's Barry well I'm sorry 
again as you can see from uh, the way the characters looks like they're a bit um, edgy if I can say that So Chris goes to check where. Chris. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just wait. So again, like I said, you can tweak the settings to game to be run even smoother. But right now it's all good. So the same running. I expect running the same. Okay, this one looks a bit awkward. Bingo, you will take this emblem? Yes, I will. Okay, can I... How to go to... How to go to my... Yes! Equip. And how to go back? Start. Right. Start goes into my... So, yes. This way is attack. Okay. Okay, let's go. Can I go through these doors? Yes, I can. So yeah, the Resident Evil 1 is working on a deck station with this emulator. This emulator, like I said, is cost will cost you a couple of pounds or so. It's not a big deal. If you wanna go download, go download and play. So save state. And for all you cheaters, there's an option, cheat code. So it tells all the bunch of things, etc. And uh, you'll find the more Game Shark website to download these codes. But if you click download, it's downloading the cheat files automatically. So a cheat file is downloaded. So I'll go back, go to cheat codes, and here we are. You can do must do, most doors opens, uh, infinity flamethrower, uh, Chris, unlimited unlimited life. Uh, to 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 what else? Button save anywhere. All weapon keys and etc. Bingo. Apply. I'm not sure if uh, how the cheats was because I tried it and as you can see, I have no nothing. I have nothing as a uh, as uh, all this what cheats basically told me that I'll get is like all weapons and stuff. So click apply again and I'm still gonna have nothing. So. It, I'll leave that for you to do to tinker about but that that is um, PSX emulator running on the deck station if you want to find out more well let me know I'll, I'll help you to set it up if you think that I missed something let me know uh, I'll probably in about a month or so later I'll do a follow-up video update video but yeah that's it that's the way you can play PS1 games on your deck station Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. While you're still here, I'd like to point out that you see this banner on the top right corner which says Kino Master? This is a, basically a video editing app for Android devices. And all this video that you just watched was edited on Android phone using this app. If you want to find out more about this app, please subscribe and the video will be posted shortly how I use Kino Master video editing app to edit all this video that you just watched. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. This is for real this time.